Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Hadaful Boyfriend Holiday Star. I'm Cam Jerk Fisco. Come join me for our new feathery adventure. You're coming too, Nageki. Hmm? Sorry, Emily Nageki, I got the label I was climbing up. Miss Fisco, it's dangerous here. Get back. Oh, come on. I fought beasts and climbed a lighthouse. Come on, come take my hand, quickly. We're going home together. <sighs> the king stopped. Watch out, kids. The building's coming down. Sure feels like the final scene now, huh? I don't know exactly what he did, but Nageki certainly hasn't cut any corners. So what do we do? I'd rather not get turned into a pancake underneath this castle after coming so far. The room with the chair was all that was here in the beginning. It won't collapse. We're safe here. Son, It's falling! The sun! It's falling! Cool! Look, we're headed for the Milky Way. We'll be out soon. What the Fisco and Fujishiro? Did they make it? They're probably fine. Camp Jack's hunter-gatherer instincts will guide her through whatever it takes to get Nageki out of there. Merry Christmas! It's the great escape! Stop clinging to me, you two. It is uncomfortably warm. Which way is up? Which is down? It feels so light. Hey, Tori? Oh. Is that right? I know, I know, but it's still too soon. That's right, I'll be along soon. I'll catch up with you. What? Someday. Let's go, Hitori. Nageki and Hitori untangled from the king's wreckage and I fall to the stars. We touch down in a field of silver grass. It's like nothing we saw inside the egg of the beautiful king dream kingdom. Kamchak! Ryuta! I'm so glad you all made it out okay. Yeah. And we knew you'd get out just fine, Kamchak. And you too, Nageki. You did really well. It must have been hard. I'm fine. Cool. Nageki is tough. He is the soul of a buff manly man. I don't want to think about where we'd be now if you two hadn't broken through back then. I'm really quite grateful. Thank you, Nageki. Right. Hmm, you call yourself a hero of justice, and you can't even get by without relying on your judges, can you? Well, that's a little harsh. I've never seen anything like this before, either. Can't you cut me a little slack? Hmm, you're too sloppy. You never meant to do anything without slipping up. But... I suppose there's no harm in considering there is some value in your efforts to come rescue us. Why, thank you. That alone makes this all worth it. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku will praise you too. Merry Christmas! GJ, GJ. Good job, good job. Funny. Hey there, looks like everybody's together again. Oh, Mr. Migrant. Oh, come on. Do you have to look so angry, old friend? Your forehead's gonna end up permanently creased. Wait. You know the doctor? No. We're complete strangers. Ouch. That's cold. Anyway, let me introduce my new friends. Over here, guys. All the other people that were in the king? More of the pushy peasants? I've heard enough of you lot. Don't worry. They're all going back to being migrants like me. Oh, my shoulders are so stiff. That was a long nap, man. You could, I could eat a horse. Wow, what a dream. Wow. I object. Hey, don't steal my lines. The birds the king had absorbed. Yeah, that's them. We're all going back to wander in the night sky. You too, of course. I don't want to. I'm scared. Where'd he come from? Mr. King, you're way too quiet. I didn't even realize you were here. I'm so tiny now. 
Just leave me alone. That's no good. If we left you on your own here, you'd just do the same thing again, wouldn't you? Besides, traveling the stars isn't that bad. You don't need to be scared. You're lying. You don't know where the train will go either, do you? Nope. That's what traveling's all about. <laughs> you made the king cry, mister. You meanie. Wait, you mean me. Since when am I the bad guy? It looks like you are now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it like that. Uh. When we return our names to the stars, we're leaving on a journey into the night. We make all sorts of memories while we're alive, right? Good ones and bad ones. All the baggage is too heavy, we can't carry it with us into the next lives. So we journey through the night sky, letting our memories go a little bit at a time. I don't want to. Forgetting is scary. But if you keep clinging to your memories, you can never be reborn. We're like stones washing down a river. You might start out as a big jagged lump, but you keep washing along, you get worn down until you're around and smooth. The sparks, as your corner chips off, are what make the stars shine. And you journey through the night sky until you can't get any around her. You turn into an egg and fall back to Earth. Back there again? Don't you want to be reborn, Mr. King? No! I don't want to go through all that again. Come on, it won't all be bad. Well, I guess it might be. You never know. You're not helping, dude. <laughs> you made him cry again. There's the train. The King Station. The King Station. Leaving on a journey, heading home, this is the line for you either way. This is the Earth's Southern Crossing Line. That's right. The train to Earth will be coming next. Don't get on the wrong one. Do we have to pick the right one? That would be hilarious. It's the train. Come on, before it leaves. Come with us, your highness. Oh, would you like a caramel? <laughs> Beautiful scenery. Jolly companions. What a wonderful day. Come on, let's go. Oh, right. I completely forgot. Come here for a second, old friend. Please don't act so familiar. Let me give you a present before I leave. As proof of our friendship. Hmm, give me a minute. What do I have? Sorry, I can never keep me things straight. Indeed. You're always picking up useless gugars, And you never put them in order. Uh, ah, here we are. I picked this up in Orion's belt. It's a fossil. Look at it. Isn't it cool? It's huge. Are you a child? Hey, geology is fun too. You should try going on excavations sometimes. I bet you'd love it. I shall keep it in mind. And you? Hmm? Me? Let me give you the sambler. Isn't it pretty? Uh, yes it is. Why are you giving it to me? I actually meant to give it to you a long, long time ago. Sorry, I've got to go. Take care of your mother, okay? Oh my god, it's his father! I... Holy shit, that's his dad! All aboard the Southern Cross. We missing anybody? What about me? Oh, I completely forgot. We fought the king with all we had so we could all go home, including the Geki, but... Maybe that's not where he needs to go. What do... What do you want to do, Nageki? I... I want to stay on Earth a little longer. There's still so much I want to see. Maybe this is greedy of me. Maybe I'm being selfish like the king. But... There's still important things I need to remember. I can't release memories into the night if I don't have them. So I want time until I either remember everything or replace it with new memories. I don't know, kid. We never, rec we never recommend haunting as a, death least, as a death style choice, you know. Too easy to go all black and bitter. You mean Nageki could turn into something like the king? I really don't think he would do that. If I start turning bad, I'll get on the same train as the king. Is Nageki not allowed to stay with us, Mr. Conductor? Like I said, I can't recommend it. 
but you said you've lost your memories? If you don't have any ill will left over from your lifetime, you'd probably be okay. And mister, you burned up your free pass. You don't look like you have any of the tickets, so you'll have to wait until they're reissued anyway. So Nageki can... For now, he can go back to Earth. Alright. Yay! I'm so glad, Nageki! For better or worse, I suppose. This is definitely for better. You wanted to go home yourself, after all. And if the conductor had tried to force you on, he would have gotten a taste of my right shoulder, left uppercut combo anyway. Hey now, I'm not looking for any trouble. What's a human girl doing in a bird station anyway? This is all getting kind of weird. Last call for the Southern Cross. The train's pulling out. The train climbs upward into the starry sky. I hope the king and the others have a nice trip. Come on, everyone, let's go home. We released our unhappy memories, now born again. I can't escape mine. I can only go on and make more. But when I touch his wing... Okay. And that's all for your sophomore year. Take care, everyone. So that's the end of the semester. I guess we have spring break now, but we have to plan ahead for exams, so it's not... So it's not so exciting. Cool! Release! Ah! Glorious release! Until we meet again, loyal friends! I wonder what kind of class we'll be in, I'll be in next year. I hope we're all together again. Hmm! That would promise to be another unpleasantly noisy year! I hope you all learn to behave yourselves by then. Koo, the son, is always behaving himself. You're the worst of the lot. Hey, Camchak. Are you doing anything over the weekend? The weekend? Aside from Sunday morning TV? No? Why do you ask? Um, I was wondering if we could meet up somewhere. Of course. Gosh, you don't have to be so formal, Rita. I guess that's true. I'll send you an email, okay? See ya. Hey, Christmas! Shark! Have you two knocked another flask over? I keep telling you not to go running around the infirmary. Hey, Christmas! Mirakaku didn't do anything. Huh? I'm sorry my wing slipped. You're the last one I would have expected to break something, Doctor. In any case, I've lost my concentration now. I think I would do well to take a little air. I shall leave early. He seems to be recovering a lot more slowly than me. I wonder if he saw something particularly terrifying in that dream. Anyway, time to clean this up. Can you two get me the broom? Merry Christmas! Last time my grand plans were swept aside by some unrelated and thoroughly ridiculous incident, but today I settled the score. You shall have a front row seat for the second unveiling of my wonderful masterpiece now. Prepare yourself, Isasuma. The artistic weapon I shall unveil today is... Your target isn't here, not so young kiddo. What? what And hey, what kind of name is that? I'm offended. Iwamane Shu went home. There's nothing for you to do here. What rotten luck. This is just too much. Where does he live? I'll break in through his window if I have to. <laughs> and here the commander of the Snow Demon Sage falls. Overcome with the anger of the discipline of the Violet Rose. Reaches out to the Forbidden. Wait, on hell. Didn't the disciple of the Violent Rose go across the border to train himself in the last chapter? Even if the Snow Demon Sage loses, won't it take a while for him to find out? I see. Yes, that is correct, Jaldo Blue. This is a terrible contradiction. It stinks of the demon spores. These demon spores sure are scary on hell. Come on, let's think about how the disciple of the Violet Rose would make would make his fall into the darkness, okay? Very well, in accordance with the contract of old. You two are awfully noisy. Be quiet in the library. The day the night slept after. Fiend. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy it. 
You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, kill the video the least, and we'll stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everybody.